For the better part of 2020, we've been planning our trip to Colorado. If you haven't been following along, there's a link up above that will bring you to the playlist of all the episodes so far. This is our final episode and we hope you enjoy. We packed up this morning, leaving Shrine Pass behind to head to Blackhawk. Blackhawk, or Central City, is a cool little town that's basically full of casinos, and our campground was nearby. We arrived at base camp, got all our trailers and awnings set up, and I thought I'd give you a little backstory about Barry the Basil if you've been watching. So we went to do some grocery shopping at some point during the trip and we needed basil and my wife Charlotte came out of the store with this little tiny plant and she said, well this was a lot less expensive than buying the actual basil. So we kind of ate off this thing for a while and he just stuck with us and we brought him for the whole journey. <laughs> He's been dropped, he's been in cup holders and everything, but Barry the Basil's a trooper and he hung in there with us. And I'm gonna give you another update about him later. After we had that delicious meal, we enjoyed a wonderful sunset and we finally got to have a campfire because of the fire restrictions we weren't able to up until this point. Today is the big day. We've been waiting for this. We started out our morning heading up towards Estes Park to finally go to Rocky Mountain National Park. We entered the park at the Estes Park entrance and we would follow the path that would lead us eventually to Grand Lake that would exit the park. That would be our final destination for the day. Along the drive through Rocky Mountain National Park, there are many lookout areas that you can pull over and observe and take pictures, and this is the first of several that we stopped at. As we kept climbing in altitude on our way to the next lookout, the weather changed very rapidly and we went from almost 80 degrees to 50 degrees and freezing rain. So yeah, you're going to hear a lot of wind noise here. That's my wife. We're somewhere around. 11,000 feet at one of the uh, lookout points. The rain's about to come through here. It is spectacular. I know the audio's got to be just jacked because the, uh, the wind is going nuts. It's about to rain up here. You can hear some of that thunder in the background. I don't know what these two knuckleheads were thinking, but Nathan and Julio thought it'd be a great idea to do 10 push-ups as fast as they could at high altitude. So we're up at the visitor center. It's, I think about the halfway point, about 12,000 feet up here. Incredible views. It's raining, it's kind of like cold. slushy rain. It's cold and it's packed. There's like a bazillion people up here.
When we originally started planning our trip, our original plan was to actually camp at Grand Lake. But during that time, there were wildfires ravaging through this area and Grand Lake was actually evacuated. So that's why we wound up staying at Black Hawk. So we finally exited the park at Grand Lake and we stopped to get an ice cream because it was hot. So we started heading back to base camp for the night and we're a little sad because that was the end of our big adventure, but at least we had the amazing views of Colorado, which never disappoint. We got up the next morning and took some fun pictures just to commemorate and say goodbye to base camp and packed up and we started to head towards Kansas. It was a little sad. We got to the campground and got settled in for our final night in our campers. Hey, so we are finally at the sad end of our journey where we started in St. Charles, but we had a fantastic time. Julio, what was your favorite thing on the trip? Man, I don't know. Shaman Strings, where we pretty much stopped there. But the views and spend time with you. How about you, Nathan? Rocky Mountain National Park, for sure. It's on my bucket list, knocked it off, happy. That was, that was pretty amazing. Uh, for me, it also was the uh, Rocky Mountain National Forest Park. And uh, getting the stickers and getting yes. to see yeah. both of you guys go there for the first time. Uh, the food was amazing. Thank you, Julio, yes, for the you. most amazing meals that I've had in my lifetime. And Nathan, your logistics and planning are second to none. We're going to talk more about that in some future episodes. You're going to see a whole bunch of food that Julio cooked during this trip. You guys took pictures? Oh, we took, took some much. pictures and some video. So what I want you to do is leave some comments below. If you saw something that you want us to do, all the ingredients and a step-by-step -step how to make, and that will be awesome. We hope you enjoyed this. This is a sad moment for us, but a happy yeah. moment because we're already thinking of the next thing, so stay tuned. We're already planning for the next one. And we'll see you next time. As of August 25th, 2021, Barry the Basil is still alive and kicking. He's in a new pot and he's living with us at our house. He's a trooper from Colorado and he's going to stick around for further adventures. Stay tuned.